James Bay. Speaker, the vote fraud investigator for Elections Canada has confirmed in a sworn affidavit that there was a second voter suppression campaign. But get this, instead of impersonating Elections Canada, they were actually impersonating Liberals. My God, is there nothing they won't do to try and win? <laughs> now, we know that there are over 7,000 calls made on Election Day by Pierre Poutine. The Conservatives said they know nothing about it, but then leaked all kinds of details to journalists. When will they stop using fake names? fake excuses, come clean with the Canadian people, and call a public inquiry. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. Well, thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank the member for 8 Mile for the question <laughs> that he just uh, brought forward. You know, Mr. Speaker, he's been trying to give this party a bad rap with no uh, evidence whatsoever, but on Friday night he gave all Canadians a bad rap. I'd just simply say, I'm not afraid to stand and defend our party, Mr. Speaker, but he's not the real Slim Shady. <laughs> The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Well, Mr. Speaker, instead of trying to hip-hop over the issue, why don't we deal with the real gangster rap, which is the growing rap sheet of ethical violations under the Conservative government. Step forward, industry minister. He broke the rules. And yet, this Prime Minister promised he was going to drain the ethical swamp in Ottawa. Instead, the swamp is up around the Cabinet table. When are they going to boot that guy out of caucus and do the right thing for Canadians? <laughs> Order. Order. Shh. Order. The Honourable Minister of Industry. Mr. Speaker, I accept the conclusions of the Commissioners. The Commissioners recognize that there was never an attempt to influence public servants. The company in question never secured a contract. And Mr. Speaker, there was never any prospect or question of an advantage on my part. But in the future, Mr. Speaker, I will take further precautions when approached by Canadians seeking more information about the services and programs delivered by their government. Yeah.